Next up is a group all about removing barriers to learning so our young people can fully engage with their education and achieve their potential regardless of difficulties, disabilities or disadvantages. Let's hear it for the Empowered Learning Trust from the Rotorua Lakes District. Uh, kia ora koutou katoa. My name is Janet Weeper, Councillor for the Rotorua Lakes Council and I'm here supporting our Rotorua winner, the Empowered Learning Trust, who have pioneered our unique visual screening program identifying children with Erlen syndrome. This syndrome is not routinely tested for in New Zealand. Without the Empowered Learning Trust, hundreds of school children would have continuing learning difficulties. It is my privilege today to welcome you to the Empowered Learning Trust classroom. Good afternoon class. This afternoon I'm going to ask you to do an exercise with me please. We're going to read a passage of text and then I'm going to ask you some questions, alright? So sit up straight and concentrate and try your best. Here we go. Right, now some questions for you. <laughs> did you manage to finish that passage? No. How did you find it? Was it hard work? Or? How did you feel when I stopped you too soon? <laughs> Angry, upset. Yeah, that's probably how a lot of young people with learning difficulties in Erlen syndrome feel in, in there in the classroom every day. And they don't see that but that frustration is there. And when you're feeling like that, it's really easy to get disconnected with school um, and give up on your life and probably make some bad choices. At the Empowered Learning Trust, we're really passionate about young people. We want to stop that from happening. We want to catch kids early. It's our vision to remove barriers to learning so that young people can reach their true potential without really struggling. And then they can go on to make a positive contribution to society. We lay, what we do is we liaise with schools and we raise awareness about learning difficulties and other barriers to learning and we work collaborati collaboratively with the schools to try and solve some of these problems. One of our major projects which we're going to talk about today is um, that we um, do a vision and Erlen screening program and provide these lenses that are needed for free. So Kim, tell us what Erlen syndrome is. Erlen syndrome is a visual perceptual disorder where the brain processes what the eye sees in a really random manner. This means that people with Erlen syndrome may see funny visual things on their paper. They have a high sensitivity to light, they feel unwell or they may lose their place when they're reading, and they have problems concentrating at work, at school work. Erlen syndrome is not usually tested by an optometrist and it is not screened routinely during the Ministry of Health checks. Coloured Erlen filters are the solution. So, so these are some of the things that some of our um, kids with Erlen syndrome may see on their written page. So imagine if you're trying to read and you're seeing that, it would be pretty, pretty hard work. So let's watch a video about what happens when a young man puts on his coloured filters. As a ship's boy, John Paul had all so sorts of odd jobs on board. Some, sometimes he scrubbed decks or helped the cook. He helped to clean the gun which the merchant ship carried for protection and several times he stood behind the big wheel to steer the ship. Captain Benson wrote in the ship's log or daily record. So you can see the difference in fluency immediately once he puts on those coloured filters. So how does the screening project work? Our pre project is unique in New Zealand in that we blanket screen all our year fours in our area with, a, with the Erlen questionnaire that we um, is specific for Erlens. The children with the highest scores are screened individually by Erlen screeners. And those children with visual issues are referred on to optometrist and then the Erlen diagnostician. If corrective lenses are needed, our project are fitting these children for free. So what are our outcomes? 
In the last three years, we have screened up to 1,000 children. Of these, 30% have required corrective lenses. So basically, one in three children are not seeing well. So it um, has a, it's a huge chunk of the um, school population that is affected by this. But let's see what some of the people say about how their filters have helped them and about our project. I used to see rivers and blurry lines on the page. Now that I have my Erlen's glasses, it has made my work so much easier. When I had no glasses, there were things that popped up at me off the page. And when I was reading, I got lost where I was. But when I got my Erlen's glasses, it changed the way I read and I actually enjoy reading now. Because I've worn my Erlen's glasses for two and a half years, my eyes have now changed and I no longer need them. It was pretty obvious that he was having issues, um, but didn't really know why or um, what could be done about it. Um, it wasn't until the Empowered Learning Trust came along that I even knew Erlings existed. Um, they tested Joshua and uh, the test was quite significant. Um, it was uh, quite an eye-opener to see him read a page without the glass, without the coloured lenses in front of his eyes and then read the same page with them. It was like a different child reading. They, they helped me because the, the words don't... Um they don't move around and I don't see lines like lightning lightning bolts through the page. Yeah. And um it is the, and normally when I don't wear my glasses the, the white paper's too bright for me. My first experience with the Empowered Learning Trust came when my daughter's school rang me to say that my daughter was possibly a candidate for needing Erlen's glasses. I was a bit sceptical at first. Um, but the improvement in the last two years since she's been wearing those glasses has been phenomenal. Now that my job has changed, I'm working at the uh, Ripperal College, I'm working with a lot of students who have these Erlen's lenses and I'm also seeing a huge improvement in their reading ability. I work on a literacy support programme with about 50 students in small groups. A lot of these kids are wearing Erlen's lens and those students are giving feedback, saying things like, oh, wow, the page has stopped moving, the print's not moving anymore, I can read for ages without getting tired. Um, it, it just makes reading fun. I used to hate going to school, not because I didn't like learning or was unpopular, far from it. I was captain of the first 15, I was in the accelerate class, I had a girlfriend, I was running for head boy, and I'd achieved level three by the time I was 15. I didn't like school, because I had trouble reading and writing. I had to concentrate so hard to read what was on the whiteboard and I didn't want to slow down the class when they were already finished. I was too proud. I would rather take the punishment for not completing the assignments or that day's work than have everyone find out I had a disability. Also, the physical strain from concentrating what was on the bleached white walls, whiteboard and paper that seemed to affect no one else, so I never said anything rather than be different. When I got my Lewin's lenses, I finally found out why I had struggled for all those years reading and writing. It changed my world and the world around me. And now, I want to go back to school and be a teacher. I would have never thought I'd do that before. And that's just a sample of the lovely success stories that we've had across our, our community. And what we'd really like to see in the future is perhaps this... Um, type of screening project being offered to all young children across New Zealand so they all can have the opportunity to do their very best at school. Um, young people are the future and so we'd like to endeavour to work with them and help them to realise their potential. Thanks for letting us share this with you today. Thank you.